Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we have something really exciting to share with you all. As you know, we're always on the lookout for tools and apps that can boost productivity and simplify our lives. Well, recently we have stumbled upon a gem called Taskomat. And let me tell you, it's a game changer. So in this video, we are going to take you to its features and how it can supercharge your productivity. Let's dive in. Well guys, a task mat lets you organize and prioritize your tasks effortlessly. Whether you're a freelancer or a busy entrepreneur, staying organized is crucial and this tool makes it a breeze. Alright guys, here is Taskomat, the productivity and business intelligence software. Alright, so let's take a quick overview on the page. Is feature in Twain, uh, Twine and Web Summit. You can start for free and get started on your free account. We have revenue goals, budget management, workflow automation, planning, project and task management, performance and time tracking, quotes creation, invoicing, clients management, etc. Upcoming features. Then we have ROI management, not project management. Okay, so it's ROI management, not project management. So Taskomat is not a project management tool. It's an ROI management platform. So those of you who are thinking that Taskomat is going to manage your projects, they are saying that, no, it's not gonna manage your projects. It's going to manage your ROI. So if you want to focus on your return on investment, then this app is gonna be helpful for you. Now we are also gonna find it out. And here are some reviews of the clients. Uh, Rumo, Remo Romi, Romano, okay. Yeah, these are reviews. Now we are gonna get started, but before we get started, let's check out the pricings of Taskomat. So here's Taskomat, we can start for free, which is gonna cost us nothing. Then we have the unlimited plan, which is gonna cost us 8.90 euro per month, which is gonna be 10 month with monthly bailing. Okay, so when we are gonna pay yearly, it's gonna be 8.90 euro per month, but if we pay every month then it's gonna be 10 euro all right guys let's go ahead and check out the lifetime deal of taskomat so we have taskomat on dealify we have it on deal mirror then we have it on well lifetime oh uh, deal mango SaaS pirate they just redirect to you to another market so uh AppSumo is a dedicated market and apps promo yeah that's another direct mark i mean redirection market so we have taskomat in three platforms dealify uh, deal mirror and taskomat now let's check out which is offering what so both of uh, three of them are offering the same price which is 39 dollars now let's see what additional features we are getting from our 39 dollar now we're scrolling down, normally you would pay up to $360, but a uh, limited time only, you can get lifetime access starting at $39. All right, so if we add it to card, well, I guess there is no additional features here. Purchase the application and 30 day credit back guarantee. So they're giving us 30 days protection. You can check the application for one month, make sure it's right for you and then keep the application. Otherwise you can just return it and get refund. And we have Deal Mirror. Now let's see what Deal Mirror is offering us. Only 199 licenses left, so they have limited licenses. Now let's go ahead and scroll down. So we have some dashboard images here so that we can see the application's uh, screenshots and get some ideas about the application. And then we have some honest reviews on Captera. And after that, we have a lifetime deal plan, which is 12% off 34.32 for Prime members only. Okay, so if we are Prime member on uh, Deal Mirror, then it's going to be only $34.32. Right below by now, we, uh, we can see that it is providing a 60 days money back guarantee. So I think it's better than Dealify because Dealify is providing you with 30 days money back guarantee, also a slash credit back guarantee. Now, this one is okay. I, I would go with Deal Mirror rather than going with Dealify. Then we have Taskomat. Manage all your workflow in a single place. Most of all, grow your time's ROI. So it's best for bloggers, content creators, marketeers, and it's alternative to Astana or Trello. So then we have uh, some screenshots of Taskomat. And on the bottom, we have its features. 
and we have 60 day money back guarantee here too so you can try it for two months to make sure that it's right for you and we can only buy one code uh, well we all know that AppSumo provides more than one code so in this case you are not uh, gonna be benefited from buying more than one code so you only have one code package and which is 39 so I guess uh, AppSumo and Deal Mirror is okay but Dealify is providing you 30 days money back guarantee but if you are a Dealify exclusive member then you are gonna go with Dealify all well all of the three links are gonna be provided below in the description be sure to check them out now let's get started by uh, joining in starting free account with Taskomat so here is the registration window we can't uh, scroll up and see our well, the scrolling is not working. Why is it not working? Yeah, here the scrolling is working, but I can't see on the top. Let's zoom out. Now we can see create your account. So we're gonna insert name, your share name, address, and password, but we're not gonna do that, right? We're gonna go with one click login because we are lazy ass people. Here we go. We are gonna one click uh, login or we're gonna sign up one click with Google account. One moment, they are verifying our identity. So click here to set your annual revenue goal and work habits. Once you enter this information, Taskomat will calculate your target rate and budget to achieve each day, week or month. So should we configure it uh, even without exploring the application? Yeah, I don't want that. I want to explore the application first. So uh, let me explore the application, man. Give me a break. All right, so we are in the dashboard, guys. Now we are gonna explore the entire application. I have three tutorials, so if you want to explore the application, you can visit these tutorials. We have available slots as well. We don't need available slots as well. This is the dashboard again. We have search menu here. You can search for clients, projects, or work unit. And then we have new, create work unit, project, or create a client, create an invoice, create a code. Lots of things are here. We can create tasks too. And estimate time so how much time are we gonna take to complete the task it's here all right then we have uh, need help okay that's the help panel we have notifications here new configs available okay no need notifications then we have user settings here our first name last name and email address and then we are gonna go get back to the dashboard and in work section we have planner then after planner we have the workflow and then we have projects we have clients, we have quotes and invoices. We are gonna need to create everything. So we are gonna do everything pretty soon. Then we have full insights are only available for the unlimited account. So insights are not available for uh, our free accounts, but we're gonna need uh, to use our unlimited account in order to view our insights. Well, if I like the application much, then I might purchase the lifetime deal and get to see the full pull insight so let's get back to dashboard now we are going to do everything that's needed so here we can add task now in order to add task we are going to have to assume that what kind of company we are so let's assume that we are a toy factory so task name is make toys and here is the estimated time so the time estimation would be we're going to take uh, one hour to make toys no let's take more hours we're going to take six hours to make toys all right, confirmed. Then we have unlinked make toys. Okay, we can start the task. So after we start the task, well, the st task will be played. Oh, well, here we go. The task is playing. The timer has been started. Now we're not gonna stop the timer. We're gonna let it just be. And if we just complete the task, it will be completed from here. Well, we can cancel it because we don't want to complete the task. Let's uncomplete it again. Let's see. Okay, reset. Reset and then I play again. And here we have replant task. Well, we're not gonna replant it. We haven't set any task value. Okay, so we're gonna set value for everything. Let's go back to planner. And here, six hours is being taken for the task. Well, we have workflow here. We have projects here. Let's create a project. Okay, so we are gonna need clients first. Create client, let's go client level, client one. We're gonna create another client, client two, and another one, client three. Here we go, we have three clients. Now we're gonna add coats inside city. 
we have sent the data missing okay so we are gonna uh, insert business name VAT ID and fiscal code all right well these codes are really um, I would say that they are really much uh, detail data rich so we're not gonna touch those location will be same city so we're gonna insert a generic generic description this client is in the same city all right so we have this client in our set same city now we're going to create it again uh, recipient and well recipient and estimation is needed check whether recipient bailing it set correctly now that's that is what i don't want to complete business let's just give them a name no we don't want to right complete again we need to input details set country and we're gonna confirm okay so since adding quote is really that much difficult so we're not gonna add any more quotes we're gonna use this quote to complete all the projects now we have fiscal summary tax rate would be 12 percent as always confirm all right so quotes is done we have created one let's go you must enter at least one order in line or a work unit here we go how about now okay still not working quotes so we have set a quote but we are not going to create a new quote because it's taking too much time now we are going to go to invoices and create an invoice well i'm going to select uh, client number one all right sender recipient done we're gonna have job description. No, no job description this time. We're gonna just gonna write test. Then we have cost description. Now we're gonna manage generic cost items. Total summary amount due. Payment instructions. Deadline for payment is gonna be 5 August. An extra add an extra content if you want. So no, no, no extra information. Thank you very much. All right, now we're gonna get back. Change voices. We have created an invoice too. Now I'm unable to set the money amount anywhere, so let's go ahead and check it out. So creating client one, select a project, add a new project, add a work unit. Deadline will be 4 August. Working mode budget. So six hour budget will be $600. Hourly wait, $100, yes, they, they don't want dollars, okay, so they're gonna calculate in euro, so time cap, hourly rate 100, and uh, working mode, okay, and then budget is 600, so let's go, confirm, now this task, alright, something is here, deadline for test, alright, so we have a very beautiful caution logo here that is indicating us that the deadline of test is here and then we have weekly budget which is going to be 2090 average rate 100 let's go ahead and check out the workflow projects well everything's okay now we're going to check out client we can rate the client too quotes invoices now this time it should work task rate would be 12 so we have our invoices data when you have lots of invoices you can also export them and select all of them confirm and then they will be exported in csv format and also you can export your quotes when you have lots of quotes you can export them in csv format too then we have clients here which have where we have budget analyze this okay add an invoice so budget is 600 average rate is 100 and the rating is three star so it's giving ratings automatically or can we change the rating let's check no we can't change the rating so the rating is given automatically by the software that um, how much profit we're making from the client so always make sure to get five star rating from here and in planner we have 
all these charts like effectiveness, efficiency, punctuality. Well, I can't insert demo data. Well, if I had more demo data that, that I could insert, these data would be much more beautiful to see. Like you have your effectiveness percentage, your efficiency percentage, and the punctuality of your employees, which is really great way to monitor everything around your workspace. Now we have some business deadlines in this week. As you can see, notification has popped up that we have deadline in this week and we really need to finish it. So we're going to go ahead and assume that this task is finished. Now the task is finished. So as you can see, we have effectiveness and then we have efficiency and punctuality. And since it was a budget based work, well, 600 by 600 weekly budget has been reached and the real rate we have 97% gap okay so we are gonna manage go to client again and see if we have increased star no we have not we haven't increased any star and because I have completed the six hour task in only nine minutes that's why effectiveness efficiency and punctuality is full now let's go ahead and reschedule another task like this duplicate copy of make toys Okay, this one is going to be copy. Now we're going to confirm again. Let's refresh and see where it went. Well, it's not being viewed here. So we're going to go to projects or workflow. And here it is, unplanned. So we're going to plan this one now. Doing. And this one is not opening. This one is just in doing section. All right, let's go ahead, copy. Now we are going to plan task. Start on 31 hours per day four. Plan on weekends, no. Let's go to planner and see if it's ready yet. Yeah, we have it ready. So make toys, we have a copy of make toys here and this is the copy of make toys. We can also view this one. So here we go guys, we have copy. We are gonna now start this task. Task has been started and the task logger is uh, counting the task. Now while this task is being done, we're going to go roam around a little more. So today we have finished this task in 9 minutes which was about to uh, which was about to take around 6 hours. We did it in 9 minutes. Yeah, that's why our efficiency, uh, effectiveness and punctuality is full. So you don't have to do your 6 hour task in 9 minutes. You, you just have to do your task in your time, in your budget and then you will be able to find out that how much your effectiveness is, how much your efficiency is, how much punctuality is your employees giving you. I will complete this task in only 60 seconds. So here we go, 60 seconds done. We have one minute and then let's complete the task. Now, as you can see, the efficiency dropped to 50, but it instantly went up. I don't know why it instantly went up. And then we have weekly budget 1200. Yeah, that is what I didn't want it to do. So weekly budget is 1200 and our target budget is around well, 12 hour times, but we only worked for 10 minutes. All right, then we have a 2,090 euro flag. So our, re our real rate is actually 6,878 and 99% JP. Now let's go to clients and see what happens here. Budget analysis, let's go. Here is the budget analysis, but time is not working very well. There is a caution sign beside time. And here in effectiveness, we have two tasks, one and two. As you can see, it's divided with a separator and both of those tasks are bringing us 100% effectiveness, efficiency and punctuality. And then we have quotes and invoices. All right, guys, so using this software, you can manage your budget. You can find out your efficiency, effectiveness, punctuality, and then you can plan to improve your ROI and get more uh, back from your investment. Alright guys, so if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more reviews and productivity tips. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one. And make sure to check out the links down below if you like this software.